Hello everyone, Silvertorian here in Wooded Hollow, and we're going to open the next world so we can keep moving things forward. Um, also a little change up from what I've done with the previously opening of the worlds. That did not come out smoothly. But um, I'm just going to open up the worlds one at a time. Like, I'm only going to open up the world that I can go into now, despite the fact I can... I think I can open up the next three worlds, to be perfectly honest. Um, reasonings for this is, um, basically, quote-unquote, to prevent spoilers, even though I don't really think that's a huge issue, especially with the fact that we kind of see a few of the levels before we even have a chance of getting to them, but also because we can't actually go into any of the future levels without going into the next one. Like, to get up to the plateau, to get into Glitter Glutch Mine, we needed the um, wall grab or the ledge grab that we got in the first level. To get into um, the area where Witchy World was, we needed the fire eggs, which, while the fire eggs aren't in, um, while the fire eggs aren't actually in Glitter Glutch Mines, you basically get the fire eggs with Glitter Glutch Mine. And to get to this world, which I'm just about to open, you need the split up pads, so you can't do, do it without going into witchy world. So it's like, why not? And um, now we just gotta wait for the awesome power of the great Jiggy Wiggy. I still can't say that without a straight, without, uh, I still can't say that with a straight face. It's just, it's one of those inherently funny words. Anyway, Clifftop, new area we haven't been to, and that looks like a globo. What's this here? To Ye Lagoon. Hmm. A lagoon. Well, well, might be a water level we're coming up to. Well, okay, yeah, it is a water level we're coming up to. But it's not... Okay, yeah, it is kind of a annoying for a water level. All water levels in video games are annoying in one way or the other. This one's annoying because it's very easy to get lost in, and... I'll kind of explain that as we get to it. We won't have to worry about that quite yet. Um, why am I going to walk there? We can take the teleport up to the plateau and then just basically be there. To the plateau! Ah, yes. Now this is kind of going to be all helter-skelter when I'm actually completing stuff just because of the nature of how this works and when I'm... Like, I don't know when exactly I'll be going back to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? To, what is the word I'm looking for? Glitter Glutch Mine, that's the word I'm looking for. To finish up what I have left to do there, nor do I know when I'm going to go back to Witchy World. I'm thinking at this point, I'm just going to do as much as I can do, or that I can remember to do in my first ways through a level, and then just towards the end of the game, spend time going like through both levels, like going through a bunch of levels just to finish up whatever I have left. And I think that's my best bet in the, looks like there's a ledge we can grab one then a switch. But let's talk to Jam Jars first. Um, ice eggs. Cool, we have yet another element of ice. So we have normal eggs, fire eggs, explosive eggs, and cold eggs. Not bad, all things considered. Not bad at all. Alright, let's see. That'll be all... I... What? Uh... He looks weird without his glasses on. Like, really weird. Um, let's just... Fall to our death. Yeah, let, let's just fall to our death. We can't get this video started without falling to our death. It's impossible. Uh... And anytime you die in the overworld, it brings you back to the Isle of Hags. That was a new... Ooh, Trebuclef. There's a Trebuclef on top of this Jinjo house. I'm grabbing that. How do I get up here? I think we jump on the door, and then we jump up here, and yes, we do. Cool. This is another 20 notes. And it doesn't look like there's anything else up here, so... With that Trebuclef in hand, let's... I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. But with that in hand, let's go back up to Plateau and go over to the cliff side once again. <sighs> and back in the Plateau. 
at least things are fairly connected in this game like, throughout the warps and how everything is actually connected to each other with the exception of like one world that you can only get to through the hub world but everything else is very connected cool. and just run over here and not jump off the edge this time banjo good job all right let's just shimmy over here oh um, another thing i'm thinking about doing is kind of cutting down a bit on jump down drop down cutting down a bit on like straight intros and exits and maybe like i know my goal for this was just to try to keep consistently like 15 minute videos but i may just play it by ear more actually speaking of that phrase i only recently learned where that came from it's actually from musicians it's kind of funny where all these phrases that people just use come from and they don't even know what they mean well like they know what they mean but not what they mean anyway that switch we pressed is of course the train station switch for the oval world and as you can see, we're apparently going to use Mumbo for something with a train. Now that that train wreck is done... Wow, that, that was a bad pun and I didn't even intend it. Anyway, we're going to be bypassing Mumbo because we can't actually reach the Globo. You might have seen it when um, the camera panned in for the opening of the world, but we currently can't reach it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway, let's, let's get into the lagoon. That's, that's enough just rambling. Let's get into the lagoon. And here we are in Jolly Roger's Lagoon. My rambling aside, we have quite a few things we want to get done here. First stop is... What's the name of this place? Pano's Emporium. Hmm, a pawn shop. Alright then, Pano... Jiggy! Talk to you. Greetings, friend. The name's Pano. I'm the local pawnbroker. Yeah, we, we could really use that Jiggy. Real nice piece, circa Banjo Kazooie. So I was told. Frickin' twenty gold, to, twenty gold doubloons. We don't even have any. We just want the jiggy. Wow, Kazooie, you think your entire shop is only worth tw um, twenty doubloons? Anyway, before we leave, um, right here is a picture of Brentilda, which is Gruntilda's nicer sister from the first game. Jump up here by the Globo. And if you remember, this stall was one of the prizes in Grunty's Furnace Fun in the first game as well. There are a nice ton of references to the first game in this entire world. It's kind of nice, really. I enjoy it. It's really a lot of nice in-jokes and everything. It's a lot of detail, and I enjoy it when games put in callbacks to previous games in their series. Anyway, um, we have a lot of things to do. We have a lot of things to do. Let's activate this and... Ooh, a crack. A crack. Let's blow it up. Blow it up. Explosions! Explosions. What did that reveal? A pair of swap pads. That'll probably be useful later. Um, let's check out what's over here. Oh, I see a couple of kids, it looks like. Let's see, this is a doubloon. Oh, so these are the doubloons we need. We're gonna have to collect a ton of them, aren't we? Alright, so let's talk to you. Please fix the pool. Does he have three arms? Oh, I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, I, I didn't either. I'm a little touchy about it, as you might expect. Uh, nice, Kazooie. Uh, let's see what your brother, maybe, has to say. Help us sort out our pool, Mr. Bear. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Looks fine to you, Kazooie. Let's see, they want to go swimming, but the water's polluted and icy cold. Yeah, this may take some time. As in, one of the last jiggies we actually get. It, it, it's really obnoxious. Anyway, more doubloons! Three doubloons. Not a bad start. And I see a mumbo pad. Grab the doubloon. Good job. And... What's this? What is this here? This is... The Wave Racer Hire. Hmm. Let's see if we can't get a ride for all around the water level. That'd be pretty darn convenient, wouldn't you guys agree? Hey, it's Captain Blubber! I haven't seen him since the end credits of Banjo Kazooie. Your old shipmate, Captain Blubber. How you doing, Hardies? Yeah, it is kind of a hard day, Banjo. I mean, all the stuff we have to do, it's kind of hard. But yeah, Kazooie does be standing around. Let's see, business, not so good. 
All those wave racers are destroyed. The last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Whoa, wow, that is bad luck. Nah, shipmates, but... Oh, see... I, I see, you're honorable. You don't want money to be lent to you. You're willing to trade, though, so... Your last possession for the blue. Yeah, why not? Take it. Alright, R, here's a good one. Have a look inside this here crate. Thanks, shipmates. I'll be off to Jolly's for their quiz night. There'll be a thousand doubloons up for grabs, and if I win, I'll be having me a, fl a flying machine. What will you possibly do with a flying machine? Anything behind the cap? A jump pad. Hmm, maybe there's something on the ceiling here. Um, crawl? Turn? No, but we can jump. Huh. Oh, a Jinjo. There's a green Jinjo up here. I honestly did not remember that guy was up there. So it's very cool that I just checked that out. Alright then, so we got some honeycombs up here. We don't need a sign, which if memory serves, memory doesn't serve. So let's see what this sign has to say. Legend has it that a goldfish holds a secret. Oh, just the goldfish that we saved a while back that can teach us how to swim faster. I wonder if we can get in there. No, but we can't hurt ourselves. What would a video be without hurting ourselves? Let's grab another honeycomb piece and see what's in this speed shoe. Well, it's not a wave racer, but speed shoes lets us run on water, so let's go run on water. I'll come back to that balloon. Not a very big loose Ooh, the balloon. Ooh, ginger. Grab the ginger first, and I guess we'll grab the balloons. Okay, so grab the balloons. Press both buttons to swim faster. I'm guessing most of the level is down that hole. Well, okay, yeah, most of the level is down that hole, so we'll have to take care of that later. Anyway, there was a cave over here. Let's see what's in this cave and grab the balloon. That puts us up to nine doubloons. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oof, more doubloons. And jam jars. What can you teach us, jam jars? It ain't happening, lady. You need to get rid of the... But Did you just insult Banjo? Ugh. It figures. The only reason, the only way that Kazooie would be s civil to any member of Bottle's family as if they were insulting Banjo in the process. Uh, well, we found those split up pads, so let's go see what Jam Jars has to teach her. And grateful jerks, all of them. And jump over to Kazooie. Probably for the best, though, because I mean, like, they don't have a. Why do I feel these inconspicuous splotches of stuff are important? I really do not remember. Anyway, let's go over to Turtle View Cave. And talk to Jam Jars. Alright then. You've lost the safety that Banjo brings. Defend yourself now with your wings. Whirl them around by pressing B. A useful attack, I think you'll agree. Oh, cool! Kazooie can defend herself now outside of using eggs and killing herself with the explosion. Because only grenade eggs are useful. Anyway, a nice little cool thing is, um, Banjo can s swim on the surface just like Kazooie can, but Banjo can also swim underwater, although very slowly, whereas Kazooie can't even dive. So now that I've just shown that little fact off, let's, let's go back to Banjo and check out this last place over here. And, is something on the roof? No, I don't think so. I don't care. Let's just check it out. Okay, out here we have Jolly. Oh, this must be Jollies. All right, then let's see what's inside of Jollies. And we have ginger beer. We have oh, there I'm Jolly Roger, town mayor. What the heck were the character designers? Th what's on that menu? I'd love to oblige, but I'm less than Jolly at the moment, as my partner's gone missing. I, I, I mean, his voice, just how he talks, how he moves, I, uh, 
early yesterday evening and I heard a big gulping noise and when I got outside she was gone. Perhaps she was eaten by a vicious needy. Oh, I hope not. It's happy hour soon and I'll be needing some help. Would you like to rent a room? It's half price at two doubloons as this naughty mole is like... Ooh, that sounds like jam jars. Yeah, we'll take the room. We could use a new move. Okay, big boy, show... Oh, what were they thinking? What were they thinking with this character design? Cheers, but how can you possibly sleep while my partner's still missing? Um, what's on this menu now? Open the whole sea man surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Remember all that innuendo I mentioned a while back? Jolly Roger is a lovely example of it. Really is. Like, well, Jolly Roger's Lagoon is kind of annoying as a level. It's got a lot of cool stuff. Ooh, jukebox. Jukebox. I'm afraid our jukebox is broken at the mo A real pity. Just love dancing to the salty sea man chant. Okay, that's not explicitly, but that still can be interpreted what's over here. I remember you. This guy was in a painting in Bad Monster Mansion. Yeah, he was... What's his name, Black Eye? Got a tad wobbly there, Blackie. Just a touch of seasickness, you filthy rats. A pirate gets seasick? That's... Kazooie agrees with me. Alright, so, um... If you step up here, you see that painting right there is a picture of Shark Food Island from Treasure Trove Cove in the first game. The painting behind him is the inside of that island, of that, um... Yeah, that island, which is where you'd get one of the stupid swap items. And it's just a lot of nice throwbacks they put in this game about all that stuff like that. Like, there was a painting there I passed of the Treasure Trove Cove itself, the treasure chest there were from there as well, and let's check the jam jars. Let's check the j I cannot speak properly today, can I? In your water bags attack, this new move will let you shoot back. Press up for aiming sight, followed by Z to start a fight. Yeah, this is just the final egg aim move, so now we can fight on land, sea, and air. We're the marines. And a bed, which bounces. Well, at least it's not squeaky. I, I regret just- I regret saying that now. I regret saying that. I wonder if there's anything behind the- Nothing behind the bar. Kinda grateful for the- Ooh! Chair. Window. Window. Chair. Window. What's in the window? Stand on the chair, Banjo. Explode! Gunpowder! That's gunpowder! That has to be gunpowder! That was totally gunpowder. Awesome. We're gonna have to check that out. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to check that out. Definitely.